Hypoalbuminemia is defined as a low level of albumin in the blood, and the normal range is around 3.5 to 5.5 grams per deciliter. Albumin itself is the most abundant protein in human blood, making up around half of all serum protein. It plays a key role in maintaining oncotic pressure in the blood, and since it's hydrophilic and therefore soluble in water, albumin can transport lipophilic compounds such as hormones, fatty acids, and unconjugated bilirubin through the blood. Albumin also has a role in acting as a pH buffer, scavenging reactive oxygen species, as well as binding some drugs and calcium. Hypoalbuminemia can be caused by an impaired synthesis within the liver, increased utilization by tissues, problems in distribution, or an increase in the loss of albumin. This occurs in liver disease, such as cirrhosis or chronic hepatitis, where there is a decrease in the production of albumin, as well as a distribution problem where more albumin leaks from the capillaries into the extracellular space. Kidney disease is another cause. Hypoalbuminemia is one of the features of nephrotic syndrome, where patients are losing more than 3 grams per day of protein. It can also occur in chronic kidney disease, where the protein loss is not as quick, but over a long period of time, small consistent losses will lead to hypoalbuminemia. Malnutrition or malabsorption are other causes. Severe malnutrition can lead to conditions such as Kwashiorkor syndrome, but even mild malnutrition, as is often seen in the elderly, can also cause hypoalbuminemia. Conditions affecting the absorption, such as ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and Celex disease may also end up causing hypoalbuminemia. Albumin itself is a negative phase reactant, meaning its level decreases with inflammation. Cytokines like IL-6 and TNF cause increased leakage from the capillaries, increased degradation, and less gene transcription of the albumin gene, meaning less synthesis. Conditions like sepsis and septic shock are particularly favorite. The clinical findings are often nonspecific and are linked to the underlying cause. The more common findings include weakness, peripheral edema and swelling, all the way up to ascites, thin hair, and jaundice if they have an underlying liver disease. In terms of the diagnosis, when albumin levels are found to be low, tests are performed to identify the cause, which include liver function tests assessing for liver disease, urine albumin and protein levels to assess for nephrotic syndrome, and to assess for a protein-losing enteropathy, we could look at levels of alpha-1 antitrypsin in the stool, which, if elevated, suggests a protein leakage or increased permeability of the intestinal mucosa. Treatment focuses on finding and managing the underlying causes, while infusions of albumin itself are performed in some situations, such as major surgery, rapidly progressing hepatorenal syndrome, and certain cases of nephrotic syndrome.